This stuff like doesn't exist. You can't even search it. It's not on Dalong. It's not on other search websites. All right, so today we're looking at the Gundam Specialist Store in Akihabara in Tokyo. This store is crazy. Um, I, I don't even know where to begin, so I'm just going to get started and we're just going to walk through the store together and I'm going to talk about a few things I bought, a few things that really blew my mind, and I'm just going to constantly be recommending everybody check out this store who can go to Tokyo or is planning on going or is there right now. Um, this store is crazy. So starting off the bat, you walk in, you guys saw the big Gundam statue, there's some Converge figures, and then heavy hitters in this display case, like right off the bat. Look at all these resin kits. Like you do not see that anywhere. You don't see it on Suragaya. You don't see it on eBay. You don't see it on Baiyi. Um, some of them are a little expensive if you're looking at the price tags and doing some conversions, but like this O kit is 8,000 yen, which is not really a lot at all um, for a kit that's that hard to find. Um, yeah, just crazy. Like, I, I, and a lot of these I'm seeing for the first time. I didn't even know that they existed. Um, so I'm kind of at a loss for words. And I'm just going to freeze here because I'm pretty sure that that's the Famicom logo. And as far as I know, I don't know if there being a Famicom color Gundam kit, but with collabs in Japan, I wouldn't be surprised. So if anybody knows, um, definitely leave a comment. Moving on to metal builds. Um, I don't do a lot of metal builds, but I think it's really cool to see such a wide selection. They had a ton. I just think for for what I do with, with customizing and painting and all that stuff, they're just a little pricey for that. Um, yeah, so moving on to the wing section, this section really blew my mind. And it's not just wing, we'll get into some other stuff, but they had so much good stuff, you guys. Like, I'm freaking out again just watching the video recording this voiceover because look at all the old HGs. Like, these are so hard to find. Um, that Death Scythe Hell, I bought that. Um, and that Death Scythe Hell, I also bought that. Oh, wait, no, I didn't buy the Death Scythe Hell high grade. I bought, um, just a regular Death Scythe high grade 1100, but I did buy this, uh, 1144 kit. Maxter, you can see me thinking about buying that for a thousand yen. It's like seven dollars or so right now with the conversion rate the ultron gundam um those 1144 kits are really not that great if you're nostalgic for them they're kind of fun like 700 yen that's crazy it's like four dollars that's such a good deal um yeah such a fun just nostalgic kit to check out but yeah they're not that great the 1 100s are, are actually really nice if you're down to sand some seam uh sand some seam lines but the 1 144s are not that great i did pick up that one though because i built it as a kid and it also comes with a nice figure of hero the rising gundam mm, i was thinking about this but it's actually pretty common because it's a reprint and you can find this um even in the united states pretty easily so I did not pick that up. I'm also biased towards <laughs> like red Bandai logo kits. If I'm going to get something vintage, I'd rather have it be like an actual, I don't know, it depends. Maybe sometimes an actual vintage kit, sometimes a reprint's fine. Just some really cool stuff. RE100s. Um, just all sorts of just different cool stuff. They had a serpent, but they didn't have a 1100, which was a bummer. Some uh, old school victory kits, which are really cool. Though those are not that uncommon. I've seen them a lot in uh, Mandarakes throughout um, Tokyo. Gun blaster. Look at that art. It's freaking sweet. <laughs> You're going to hear me say dumb stuff like that a lot just because I'm so hyped watching this video again. Like, I was so, I don't know, just overwhelmed almost being in the store that I don't think... 
I fully got to appreciate it and I'm appreciating it more now, like going back and watching it again. Again, all these victory kits have awesome art. Um, I probably would have picked up a few because I really like the designs from victory, but I am working on that 160 scale kit. Uh, look at this art. It's just like a poster that I need. I wish Bandai would release some like poster prints of these old kits. Uh, I picked this up, the High Gog, uh, the old 1144. I'm using this for my build off kit. If anybody wants info about the build off, I'll leave some in the description, but you can follow me on Instagram and there's a post about it there. Um, the GM, interesting, but uh, I don't think it's uncommon enough. Okay, the New Zeal. I also picked this up. And I promise I'll get into a full tour of the video, you guys who are watching. Like, please keep watching. I just wanted to go through some of the stuff I picked up right off the bat. Um, but we're going to get into some cool stuff in a bit. The uh, Valhalla, I, I don't know, I was thinking about it, but I've seen it in the States and it's pretty affordable. The, the um, Mechanics Dendrobium, which is kind of cool. But I was a little burned out on the Dendrobium after the SD kit that I built. So I think maybe not right now. Just some other various kits here. And moving on. Okay, so this is cool. I really like these um, F91 kits. I've got a couple of them. It's Crossbone. And there was a ton of P band I hear for, for those of you who like the newer stuff, just so much stuff. You can see my stack of, of stuff I'm buying on the left there because I just started carrying it around the store. Um, the Vigna Zero, that's, uh, I don't know. I might go back and maybe get one. It's such a cool kit. But I kind of want to finish my vintage F91 before I start working on a new one. I just need to, you know, you guys know how it is. You got to keep the backlog in check. You can't. You can't be getting too out of control <laughs> with that backlog. Um, it was really cool to see all these EX models in one place. I've never really seen that many of them in person. This Gerber I was really thinking about buying, but I think I'm just going to wait for the reprint that's coming out later this year so I can get it for a little bit less. And I just want to focus on buying um, kits that are harder to find so I can, I don't know, have more room in my bag. Look at these shirts and, and this quattro jacket. I mean, I wanted to, um, like, flip through them, but there was someone standing there looking at the other side of the rack, so I didn't get to. They had these aerial um, snacks, which I thought were kind of cute. I, I thought it was kind of fun, but really has absolutely nothing to do with Gundam, but I think it's, it's, it's kind of cute. Or as far as I know, it has nothing to do with Gundam. And then they had this Gundam Gachapon where you don't actually win, um, like, Gundam toys. You win, I believe, like, little pieces of paper that have a certain amount of points. And then you can exchange those points for uh, different Gundam kits that they have in a display case. Some character figures, which I've actually found out are quite common in Japan. This limited for best modeler gold Zeta Gundam. I think this was a prize. Um, that was kind of cool. So here there's just some display. A lot of snap build stuff, but there is some painted stuff in here, which is quite, quite cool. Uh, and most of it's for sale too, which is fun. And then some just different rarities, odds and ends. It was really just fun to, to look through all this stuff. And then again, some more resin kits here. I was just blown away by how many resin kits they have. Um, I've been to a lot of shops, a lot of mandarakes, book-offs, just different secondhand shops, and I haven't seen any other than here. Um, I think I might go back and buy this because that's only 5,000 yen, and I had no idea that Wave made an O kit. I didn't know, I guess, Bandai Let I, other brands make Gundam kits back in the day, but that's super cool. Um, just some different built stuff, painted stuff. This, um, full armor double Zeta is pretty rad looking. Really nice paint job on that. Big Zam, it's a little bit expensive, but it's, it's pretty cool. 
um, perfect grade zeta. That's not really hard. I think that just got reprinted. That's not hard to find, but just cool to see all this stuff. This uh, full art, uh, full armor double zeta has just got such a cool box. I had to pause on that for a sec. A lot of new stuff. So if you're into, again, if you're into new stuff like HGC, incredible selection for new stuff too. This Zeku, uh, Zeku Ains, I think that's how you pronounce it. Really cool kit. I was kind of thinking about that. That's a little bit harder to find. So I thought that was pretty cool. I've never seen the Gundam Sentinel attacker. I think that's what that is. And look at these freaking, it's so cool. Those backpacks, again, they were crazy, crazy expensive. So I didn't really think of it. This is cool. It's like a little military style, um, case Xeon style just different stuff like gloves wallets sunglasses purses just it's just stuff that you can't even really search for it's it's really challenging to even know what search terms to put in to find this kind of stuff um but yeah some more old school SD kits I'm not a big fan of most of them because they're so hard to build but that Maganex kind of interesting. I didn't even know they made an SD of that. Oh, that SD Devil is so cool. That's that's one I kind of want at some point. This Easy Eight. That's one of the. I think that's actually the first kit that I built getting back into Gundam as an adult. I guess like in my early twenties. Um, the catapult's really cool. I was trying to figure out what this box was. I think it's. Some sets of books. I didn't really read um, exactly what it was, but just like another SD set back there. But yeah, that Argama catapult deck's pretty cool if you're into like G structure stuff. And um, yeah, going back here, this is like the big thing that I really freaked out on. Uh, right there, bottom shelf. All resin kits, uh, not all resin kits, sorry, there's some just regular vintage kits, but just so many resin kits. This stuff like doesn't exist. You can't even search it. It's not on Dalong. It's not on other search websites. I mean, there's some random websites that ha have listed a handful of them and some YouTubers have talked about them. But as far as I know, there's no comprehensive database or way to like search up uh, if any of these things actually exist, when they came out, what do they look like? It's just like, I don't know. I, it's, it's, it, I don't know, very mysterious. I'm pausing on this box because this box art is gorgeous. Um, but yeah, my mind was just blown at all these resin kits. And of course, there's the ones behind the case that you can look at. Those are some of the heavy hitters. But just to be able to flip through some of these cheaper resin kits was so cool like and not just resin kits but like vintage resin kits that maybe you'll see in like a a b club magazine or some old like vintage gundam magazine from the 80s or 90s or 2000s just so many cool ones like i, I probably sound like a broken record just saying it's so cool but i mean you guys gotta go and check out this store um, these are some G-structures, which are cool. If I was not so invested in, like, custom diorama building, I would definitely probably be um, messing around with those for photo shoots and whatnot. Oh, and this kit, I really want it. I, I kind of still want it. Um, the Alpha Izuru, I, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it was, like, over $100 with the conversion, so just a little expensive. And, um, yeah, the Dendrobium, that's actually an action figure, but still kind of cool to see. And, yeah, that's it. Um, guys, you gotta check out this store. It's the Gundam Specialist Store in Akihabara in Tokyo. It's so cool. They've got so much stuff. As you can see here, it's 100% Gundam. Um, the prices are decent. Some of them are a little bit more expensive, maybe, than what you might find in a secondhand shop. But it's definitely, they're not, like, price gouging. And with the exchange rate right now, like, if you're not from Japan, if you're, I don't know, just, 
if the exchange rate's good for you in your country, like it is in the U.S. right now, I mean, the prices are just killer. Um, so, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I appreciate you um, just, yeah, putting up with my fast talking because I'm trying to record the video after the fact. Yeah, it's a little bit tricky, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys could um, give this video a thumbs up and, and leave a comment, and subscribe and hit the bell icon and all of that stuff if you want to see more videos of me here in Japan I'm gonna be trying to do some videos of some arcades coming up so that's gonna be cool and I'm gonna bounce back and forth between some Gundam stuff some anime stuff some some retro gaming stuff some arcade stuff and um, yeah I really appreciate you guys thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video all right bye